Aries, welcome to your February 2022 reading. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries. Hope everybody's been doing amazing. I took a little break. I needed it. I'm back. All right. So if this one resonates, Aries, the link to the extended reading is going to be below where we dive a little bit deeper, see how your person feels about you, do a little spying. All right, Aries, what can Aries look forward to here in February? What's coming in for Aries 2022, Aries, February. If this one doesn't hit home, make sure that you check out your uh, moon or your rising, maybe even your Venus for love. All right, let's check it out. What happened in the recent past, Aries? What do we have? The Hermit, Major Arcana for Virgo. Well, Virgo action. What's going on right now? What's the current energy, Aries? You've got the High Priestess, Pisces energy. Two major arcana right out of the deck. So it's just big shifts in energy. All right, y'all. Person you're thinking about connecting with will be connecting with. What's going to go through their thoughts? The Hierophant. Another major. Now we got Taurus showing up. How does this person view you or what will they think of you? We've got the Page of Wands. Leo Sag Aries. Could be your energy. <clears throat> How do they feel deep down? What's going on in their emotions? The devil. Another major. Y'all, a lot of major arcana showing up. So something big's happening or it's already happened <clears throat> and it's continuing to manifest, perhaps. All right. How does this person plan on moving forward with you? What are their intentions moving forward? The Ten of Wands. So if you're on a break or you broke up, this is how they would feel about reconciling, already connecting or someone new coming in, Ten of Wands. What's hidden that you don't see? The Three of Swords, Libra energy. What's your advice from Spirit? What do they want you to do? The Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What's the outcome here, Aries? What do we have? We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. All right, let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading and see what you need to see. All right, Aries. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, since I have been away for a little while, check your notifications. You may have to unsubscribe. Actually, just go ahead and do it if you don't mind. If y'all could do that for me, unsubscribe to my channel and then resubscribe and hit the notification bell to all notifications. It's really important that you do that or you won't receive any notifications. Um, that would really, really help me and I would really greatly appreciate it, you guys. Thank you for all your support. You guys are always amazing. Um, if you all need a private reading, my link is below, right next or right above or right below. I don't remember the um, link to the extended reading. All right. What does Aries need to know here, please? This is February 2021. All right. Let's do it. Let's see what's going on for Aries. I went in the opposite order of the Zodiac this time. So that's why y'all are last. I'll switch it up again. But thank you for being so patient. I know it's difficult for Aries. I get it. I'm an Aries moon. All right. So in the recent past, Aries, we have the Hermit, Sign of Virgo, and the Seven of Pentacles. Really slow energy. You know, kind of pulling away. Maybe being on your own. Some of you have been single or separated from someone here and, you know, just taking stock of the past, waiting. What, we, what were we waiting on here? The Four of Pentacles. A lot of Earth energy. Some of you have Earth in your chart. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, perhaps. Hold on, y'all. I want to actually move y'all back a little bit and then over. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get this readjusted here and it's not easy um but holding back holding on and I think a lot of you are really kind of contemplating what's important to you you know in love in relationships and going within nurturing yourself maybe doing it in solitude you know right now you've got the high priestess sign of Pisces what's this about and you've got another major arcana Leo energy Again, holding back. A lot of you are just like, I don't want to be bothered. The high priestess is very silent, mysterious. She's kind of keeping things to herself. Not necessarily, you know, in a bad way. It's just, she's really intuitive. Some of you definitely have water in your chart somewhere. But again, holding back and just kind of reflecting, not acting on your impulses, holding back from a specific person or just love in general and going in and, 
and honing in on your intuition and your spirituality. Person that's coming in for you or that you're already thinking about or connecting with, they've got the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the Ace of Wands. So there is an energy here, somebody coming in if you're not already connecting with this person that really wants, you know, a new beginning. It's filled with passion. There's a spark on their mind is something quite traditional. What's this Hierophant with the Ace of Wands? And you have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Some of you be careful too, though, because um, it could be, and you're doing so much work on yourself, it could be that you have someone who is interested in you, but maybe they're married and maybe they're like going to try to hit you up for like, you know, a little boom boom or something like an affair something like that i feel like this queen of pentacles is attached to this person maybe but let's see the wheel of fortune hmm sorry about the noise i have kids at home <laughs> yeah just be careful there's some sort of karmic lesson here i think for some of y'all there's high high energy of somebody being married here so if you have somebody that's super attracted to you, I think you're pulling away from this person. Some of you already know about this. You're like, nope. They view you as the uh, Page of Wands. Why? It's your fire energy and the Two of Wands. Making plans for your future. Being a little bit unsure. You know, you may even, um, this could be somebody that you were talking to or getting to know, and then you found out something, but there's passion here. There's some communication, but now they view you as kind of being not really sure what to do. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles, because you don't want to be left out in the cold by someone, and they kind of feel like you're doing this to them. There's temptation here, Aries. <clears throat> they feel like you feel shut out or you're shutting them out. What's going on in their emotions? They've got the Devil, Sign of Capricorn. Yeah, and the Ten of Swords in Reverse. Why the Devil here with the Ten of Swords in Reverse? What's this about? The Four of Cups. Hold on, y'all. I need to shift my okay, my sh my my, my uh, microphone. So feeling rejected, complacent here. They want to recover. Feeling stuck to you. This is somebody that you don't want to have anything to do with, though, and you they feel rejected by you here. You've ended things. There's a lot of tens here. There's like two tens. Well, I say a lot. There's two. Why do they feel the four of cups and the eight of pentacles? See, they still want to work on something here, but there's something about them that you don't want. Moving forward, they're going to feel the ten of wands. So completion. Yeah. And the chariot, sign of cancer. The good old water ubers back, Aries. What's this ten of wands with the chariot? The page of wands. They're waiting on good news after you've moved away or after you move away from them. They feel overburdened by something here with you or they feel, again, like guilty of some sort. They want to message you. They want to reach out. Again, take it how it resonates. If it doesn't, check out your other signs. But if you're apart from this person, you've completed a cycle. The Two of Pentacles. Yeah. They kind of go back and forth here. They don't really know what to do. They're confused. They feel a heavy load of the distance between you two. Some of you, this hasn't happened. And it's going to be somebody that there's a spark, but who's this Queen of Pentacles on their mind? The Six of Cups. So see, they could have kids with a Queen of Pentacles type energy. That Six of Cups doesn't just have to be your past, but it certainly could. They feel a strong. Con this person feels a very strong connection to you. What's hidden that you don't see coming? Three of Swords. Yeah, and the Five of Wands. See, there's some sort of third energy here. I don't like to always go there, but if I see it, I got to say it. I can't, you know, make Candyland here on my table if I don't see it. <sighs> Separation due to a third energy. Too much drama, conflict, competition. This person's juggling or was juggling. Your advice is the Page of Swords, Aries. Why is the Page of Swords here? Why is this the advice for Aries? I feel like this is do your research, like find out everything you need to. Yeah, there's that Three of Swords again. Okay, if you have not met, if like this is a newer energy coming in February, it could be somebody through work. I feel like this is happening a lot. Or it's just somebody that has their eye on you, but you're just like, mm-mm, 
I don't think you want this because you've done so much work on yourself. You pulled away from someone. It could be the same person. Those of you that this is coming in, you're going to know real fast you don't want it. There's that page of swords again. There's a big, big, big energy spirit telling you, like, find out, uncover, especially if you're dealing with somebody online. Give me one more card. Why is the Hierophant on this person's mind? What's this Hierophant? Taurus energy. Yeah, lovers in reverse. Somebody's got somebody here, Aries. Be careful. I don't feel like it's like detrimental. Like I feel like it's just you you may even know that they have somebody else. You have somebody that's approaching you. That's why this reading's good, because you can come right back at them before they ever do it. And spirit saying, have your almost like have your guard up here. The outcome shows you just kind of being on your own here. What's this nine of pentacles about for Aries? Yeah, the three of pentacles in reverse. You're like, nope, I don't agree to this. I don't agree to being a part of a third party. I'm not doing it. Three of Pentacles in reverse says, no, we're not on the same page. Nine of Pentacles says, in the outcome, I've done a lot of work in myself. I'm good on my own. I don't need this crap. What's this Nine of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles in reverse? Could be your boss or somebody that's like higher up, like a manager. You've got Aries energy. That's you. I feel like this is you setting boundaries too, though, Aries. Like you're regaining control of a situation here yeah of that drama you're in pursuit of something and it's away from this energy you don't want the drama again here back here where we see you guys kind of holding back on someone and secluding and pulling away or they did this to you i think it's this energy but they just kind of don't leave you alone give me a card here for um aries and their overall energy towards this person leaving february how, do, how does aries going to feel about this person Six of Wands, that they're a big fat attention seeker, a player. I mean, the Six of Wands can be a player, y'all. Could be a Leo, doesn't have to be. But they like attention and they're playing. How's this person going to feel about Aries? Give me one card here, please. How will this person feel overall for Aries? Justice. I feel like that's y'all. I know it's Libra and energy, but look, she's got her sword up. She's ready to cut you off. She does the right thing, and we see that here too. So they're gonna know, like you're ethical, like you wanna do the right thing. You're not looking to hurt anybody. And she's like, come at me, and I'm gonna cut you. I believe in balance. I believe in fair treatment. You know what I mean? It's at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, King of Wands. Yeah, this is very much energy of like back the F off. I'm standing my ground. I'm not going to be your option. So I'm going to come to you. are not going to create illusions here for me. King of Wands, Daddy with a Wand. Could be you. I feel like it's this person's energy, though. They think with their wand. You know, passion, all that kind of stuff. Somebody wants to have an affair with you or something. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't feel like a heavy, heavy energy from this. Like, oh, no, Aries. I think you've already been through it. Or when it does happen, you're not like, wah, wah, wah. You're just like, yeah. I'm Aries, like people want me, I get it, <laughs> you know, but um, let's get, I want to get a, let's get an, a card of advice here in love. Doreen Virtue, what's up, girl? Haven't used you in a while. The Romance Angels, let's just see what they have to say. So what's the overall advice for Aries for uh, love? And then in the extended reading, we'll see how this person feels, how they're going to react to this, what's going on in their life, how are they walking around in their everyday life. But also, we're going to pull Oracle advice from um, the Guardian Angel deck, and that's just overall advice. So two cards came out. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We see that you guys doing that here and then the outcome as well. Love yourself, meaning by yourself, nurturing yourself, nine of pentacles. What else came out? Pay attention to the red flags. Wow. The signs are cautioning. You can't get more accurate than that, y'all. Yeah, there's red flags all over this reading. This person has a red flag like sewn to their shirt or something. It's a cape. Their cape is red and not in a good way. All right, so protect yourself. Love yourself enough to say nope to this energy and be that nine of pentacles, which it looks like you're going to. Whether you're male or female, this is just you nurturing yourself, doing it on your own, focusing on that money too. All right. All right, Aries, I will see you guys over on the extended reading. 
I am loving you hard, love me hard back, and we're gonna speak very, very soon. You guys take care, and I'm so excited to be back here. I love you all so much. All right, we will speak soon, take care.